welcome back to week three of COVID confirmation. I hope that you all had uh, good weeks last week, uh, good Thanksgiving, and that you were able to finish up those letters that we sent out for con uh, confirmation activity last week. Uh, if you haven't sent those back yet, now would be the time to do that. Um, but instead of mailing them back, you should swing by the church as soon as you can and drop them off um, at that box in the front of the in the front of the church, the My Little Library box with the newsletters in it, so that we can get those uh, sent out to our essential workers on time. Thanks to all of you for participating in that and for helping to spread a little bit of uh, love and gratitude this Thanksgiving. Now, on to the reason that I know you all came today. Our three Lulu Bucks winners of the week are um, Kevin Carlson, Grace Ederman, and Kaylee Hurley. Ayo, congratulations to the three of you. Um, you can expect to receive those Lulu Bucks in the mail sometime soon. And for the rest of you, those 20 minutes that it takes uh, to watch this video and then to answer the follow-up questions in the Google form afterwards that you can be entered into next week's drawing starts now. Okay, so this week we are talking about the Ten Commandments, and you're going to need your Bibles for this one, so if you don't have them yet, go ahead, pause the video, uh, go grab them, I'll, I'll wait for you while you do that. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so like I said, we're talking about the Ten Commandments this week, and the story of the Ten Commandments really gets started after Moses leads the Hebrew people out of slavery in Egypt. Now, you remember that story of, uh, about the plague, the Pharaoh, uh, and parting the Red Sea? Um, that's where we're at in the story. And the Hebrew people, after leaving Egypt, are deciding what they're going to do next, now that they are, are free. And they remember all the way back to the promise that God made to Abraham. Right, so if there's like five people that you're going to remember in the Bible, these two people, Abraham and Moses, uh, they're probably going to be on that list. So just a quick refresher, um, way back when, in the time of Abraham, God promised Abraham and his, that he and his descendants would be given land uh, so that they could form a new nation. Uh, and so back in the time of Moses, the Hebrew people, along with Moses, are remembering this promise that God made to Abraham and his descendants. Um, and they are Abraham's descendants, so they set out for that land, um, the land that God promised, that we call the promised land, to become and to form that new nation. And after traveling for a little bit, they reach the base of a mountain, so they take a break, they set up camp, and Moses goes up the mountain. And at the top of the mountain, he meets God. Now, I know that you all are in school, uh, and so you know that like those first days of classes, that first day of class at the beginning of school, is either like the best day of the year or the worst day of the year, depending on how you look at it. Um, because you're not really doing school, right? You're just laying the groundwork for the school year. Um, reading the syllabus, uh, setting expectations, maybe talking through some rules that um, you and your classmates will all be expected to follow throughout the year. Well, Moses, while he is on top of that mountain, on top of Mount Sinai, um, and is talking with God, that's kind of like this first day of school. The Hebrew people are about to become the nation of Israel, and God says, like, here's the syllabus, here are the expectations for you um, to work and live together, and then here are, here are some rules that are going to help that go well. And so, um, in this groundwork laying conversation, God gives Moses the Ten Commandments. So now is the time that you're going to need those Bibles. You're going to need them for the Google form too, so keep them out. And I want you to flip to Exodus chapter 20. Exodus is the second book of the Bible, so it's going to be towards the beginning. And uh, if you need a hint, your Bible should look about like this. Um, and here's the great news. Sometimes in confirmation you are required to memorize the Ten Commandments, um, but if you don't have a great memory and uh, maybe uh, can't remember the Ten Commandments or are having trouble with it, then all you need to remember is two words. That's Exodus 20. Because in this chapter in Exodus, uh, the Ten Commandments are listed out. I'm not going to go through them now. We're going to have you read them later and answer a couple questions about them. Um, but just know that that's where they are. So after Moses gets the Ten Commandments, he goes back down the mountain and he sees that the Hebrew people are already breaking the commandments that God just gave them. They've melted down their rings and jewelries to make an idol um, uh, uh, of a golden calf, uh, and that's already the first commandment broken. And Moses is so angry, this is true, and it's maybe my favorite story in the Bible, uh, Moses is so angry seeing what the people have done that he throws down the Ten Commandments that God just gave him 
they break, uh, and he has to go back up the mountain to ask God for another copy. So if you're ever in trouble with your parents, uh, maybe you were roughhousing with your siblings too much and you like broke a lamp or something like that, um, you can just remind them that at least it's not as bad as this time that Moses broke the Ten Commandments. Um, and even those uh, could be replaced. Uh, Moses did get another copy and the Hebrew people, now with the groundwork laid for their new nation, um, they set out for the Promised Land. So. That's where we're stopping the story for today. Um, that's it. Uh, you are about halfway done with what you need to do for confirmation this week. Just head over to that Google form now and answer a few questions about um, the lesson and about your week this week. Uh, and know that Pastor Justin and I do read um, every one of those responses and we send them to your small group leaders as well. You had some uh, good stories, uh, many unique and funny stories about your families the last two weeks. And this week you have about 15 minutes left today uh, to finish up. That should be more than enough time. Uh, so stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane. Uh, we miss seeing you, um, and we'll see you here next week. Bye.